Hey guys, it's your boy Willie Lean, the sickest in the game, and this is the Xbox One SOC board. Um, I'm putting this before my proper intro just to let you know that my unit was DOA. It's been pretty common among these units to have them arrive and not work. I was pretty hopeful because there is a QA sticker and there was paste on the board, like someone's, you know, obviously hooked up a heatsink to it and tested it out beforehand. But Lo and behold, it's uh, come DOA. So I've, I've tried a few things. I've had a lot of fun. I've, I've had, I had two goals when I bought this board. And number one was to have fun. Number two was to obviously test it and run Windows on it. But yeah, I didn't achieve both goals, but I definitely had a lot of fun with it. I ended up reading forums. I watched everyone else's videos on it. And it's, it's going to look great on my shelf anyways. So it's got value in that regard. Um, but unfortunately, it did not work. Um, but I do just, I just for fun, I'll let you guys watch my original video pretty much until the point where it didn't work. Um, but I just go over quickly like what the board looks like and what some of the features are and just some of the interesting stuff I've found about it. Um, but again, there's lots of resources if you want to see one of these in action. Um, yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Willie Lane, the sickest in the game, and this is the AMD A9 8, no, 9820 uh, 8 core desktop APU with R7 350 graphics and uh, DDR3 support. Uh, that's what it says on paper. What, what apparently it really is, is an Xbox One SoC on a PC compatible motherboard, uh, which would make this the slowest computer in my house. We're going to take a look at it. So yeah, here is the board. I only just received it and I've had a little bit of a look at it and I've been sort of waiting to get it for a while, but you know, here it is in hand and there's some interesting things about the board. Uh, so this is the chip in question. This is apparently the Xbox One SoC. Um, I'll throw up some other board shots of the actual Xbox Ones. Uh, I'm not sure if this is from the original Xbox One or the Xbox One S. Uh, but, you know, it's an open die chip, so this will be direct die contact with the cooler. And you can see silk screened on there is just AMD. I believe the actual real chip has, uh, I, I believe it has Xbox silk screened on there. So there is some difference to it. Uh, you never know what the case might be with this chip, whether it's got microcode that sort of sections off areas of the chip or if it's cut down physically. Uh, but it's interesting to say the least. You know, finally it's in my hand and it's an interesting thing to have. I've always been interested in uh, consoles as computers. Like ever since like the PS2 days you could uh, you could buy like a Linux kit for it that had like a hard drive and stuff. Uh, the PS3 allowed you to like dual boot or something like that. There was a development environment or something like that. You can run Linux on that. There was the, uh, the uh, US government supercomputer that was all PS3s. And nowadays, uh, consoles are just PC hardware pretty much with uh, console in like secure enclaves and stuff and they run signed code and all that sort of stuff. So it'd be interesting to see how powerful this is, what it runs like, um, and you know, like, like I alluded to earlier, this is going to be slow. This is probably the slowest computer in my house. Uh, the core design at the time, so this came out around probably around bulldozer like i think was it 2013 or 14 this came out um something like that but the amd cpu and gpu core at that time wasn't particularly amazing and this isn't clocked particularly high either because <laughs> part of the reason the amd got around got away with those cores at the time is that they were so highly clocked like these are when you're doing you know stock five gigahertz and stuff for amd chips uh, but this is only clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and uh, only has eight cores. Um, I believe they call this core design Jaguar, but I believe it does also share uh, CCX design, stuff like that. Like it shares cache between the chips. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm just making that up. So it'd be interesting to see how it performs at least. So the interesting, uh, another interesting thing about this uh, computer board is that it's got a M.2 port that seems to be keyed for NVMe 
Uh, it's got DDR3 memory, uh, what, do you, what do you call them, memory slots, uh, which is a little bit slower than I'd like to put on there. I wish it was DDR4, especially because it's an APU, uh, which means the graphics memory will be shared with the system memory. So, you know, it's only going to be running graphics memory at DDR3 speeds. Uh, the I.O. selection is pretty generous, pretty generous actually. There's uh, two 3.0s and then four 2.0s, Ethernet, uh, usual PC audio, HDMI, and uh, mouse keyboard. Um, it came with a system clock chip, uh, battery I mean, and it's got four, four SATA ports. Um, I'll give you a brief look at the uh, pin layouts there. Pretty good, I mean, I can't even imagine the real Xbox One has that much I.O., but maybe it does. Um, power delivery. It's just a 4-pin running it. Um, you know, this port isn't particularly exciting, but it is interesting considering the age of the actual SoC itself. To see all these sort of, you know, fairly modern features. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just put a NVMe board on there and uh, get cracking, I suppose. This isn't my most reliable RAM, but it is four sticks of the same stick. Um, now, something interesting is that it, it already had paste on it from the factory, which gives me the impression that they've tested it at some point. So, um, I'll right, see how that goes. Yeah. Alright guys, we're ready to go. I've got everything hooked up. Um, it's amazing how little stuff you actually need to plug into stuff these days. It's just the 24-pin, 24, 24 the 4-pin uh, CPU, got the 960 EVO uh, NVMe drive, got my boot, got my keyboard, mouse, wireless dongle. Um, I do have Ethernet. Maybe I'll just go grab that too. Yeah, let's have a look, guys. Let's uh, power that on, and uh, I guess I'll just short the system. There it is. Is there a PC speaker? Uh, there is no PC speaker. Let me just see if I've got one of my bag of tricks. Um, that display is definitely on. Uh, yeah, if you uh, stuck around and watched the whole video, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I had a lot of fun doing this. And again, it's going to look really interesting on my shelf, which is the main takeaway from all this today. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check out some of my other videos. They're pretty cool. I gotta stop lying in my videos.